Over the past months, everywhere I look, YouTube, Twitter, Reddit, people won't stop talking about Poppy AI. And if you're like me, you've probably seen it too. And you might be sitting there wondering, what even is it? Is it even worth my money? Or is it just another one of these overhyped AI tools? Well, today I'm going to give you the complete answer to that question because I've been putting Poppy AI through its paces across several parts of my own business, using it for real projects, testing it in my actual day-to-day -day workflows, and pushing it to see where it breaks and where it shines. And what I discovered has completely changed how I approach working with AI. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through everything that you need to know about Poppy AI, including my top two use cases that have made it absolutely irreplaceable in my business. So let's get started. Now, if you want to follow along with me, then I've dropped a link to Poppy AI in the description below so that you can just work through this walkthrough right alongside me. Now, when you first log into Poppy, you'll immediately notice something different. It looks nothing like any other AI chatbot that you might have ever used. All right, so the entire experience here is built around something called boards. All right, so let's just click this button right here to create a new board. And as you can see, this here is our workspace. At first glance, it looks completely different than you, what you might be used to, but don't worry, I'm gonna walk you through everything that you need to know to get comfortable with it. All right, so on the left side here, you are going to find all of your tools. Think of this as basically your control panel, all right? So it's gonna be how you interact with Poppy AI and bring different elements into your workspace. Now, what I really appreciate here is that it feels more like an actual workspace than just another chat window. So for me personally, that just makes it significantly easier to stay organized when I'm managing projects across a bunch of different channels. So at the very top here, you've got AI chat. And this is gonna be where most of your actual conversations with the AI will happen. And later in this video, I'm gonna actually show you how this one feature alone is going to change the way that you work with AI. Next up, you have social media content, and this is where you can pretty much just pull in content directly from platforms like YouTube, TikTok, LinkedIn, Facebook ads. And there's also a dedicated Facebook ad section if you're specifically focused on running ad campaigns, which is pretty cool. And then there are there's recordings where you can upload pre-recorded audio files or even record voice memos directly inside of the platform. You have images, pretty self-explanatory, and text where you can add doc where you can add text documents. The annotation tool is great for simply writing notes directly on the board, which is going to be helpful for labeling or titling different sections of your workspace. You can also add websites, create mind maps that the AI will actually interpret and use. You can upload documents like PDFs or Google Docs. And finally, you can manage your groups, which I'm going to explain in detail in just a moment. Now, I know this might look overwhelming at first, but it's actually way more intuitive than a normal chatbot once you understand it. Basically, instead of being stuck with one tiny prompting window like you would get with ChatGPT, you now have a flexible visual workspace that makes everything just a lot more interactive, more creative, and ultimately a lot easier once you learn the flow. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you right now. So let's start with something simple. If I click on AI chat here, you're gonna see a new chat window appear on your screen. This part probably already feels familiar, right? Similar to how you might use ChatGPT. And on the left side here, you can see, and you can manage all of your conversations. And on the right side, you've got your standard chat interface. But here's where things get really interesting, okay? So you see this toggle button right here? It lets you instantly switch between the best AI chatbots available today. Claude, ChatGPT, Gemini, Grok. That means that you're not locked into just one AI model. You have access to all of them in a single place. All right, so for me, this has been incredibly helpful because with ChatGPT alone, I was always limited to just that one model. But here, I can switch between different AIs depending on what the task I am doing requires. And that flexibility alone is something that I use almost every single day. And that is just scratching the surface here, right? The real power of Poppy AI comes from something called groups. I touched on that a little bit earlier, right? So you create a group by clicking right here. Groups are essentially like folders that hold all of the different pieces of information related to one specific topic. Then the AI treats everything inside of that group as connected information that it should reference together. 
Okay, so for example, let's say that I want to create a video about AI image generators. I could build a group that includes YouTube videos on that topic, Instagram posts discussing image generation, and even forum threads where people are talking about different AI tools. See, this is incredibly powerful because all of this content has already been approved by the audience. And I absolutely love this part because when I'm creating scripts for my channels, I know that I'm pulling from content that's already been proven to work with real people. If a video already has millions of views, then I know that that information inside of the video resonates with audiences. And so Poppy makes sure that that's the exact knowledge being used in my script or my project. So you can create as many of these groups as you want. One for content styles that you want to mimic, one for research materials, one for proven prompts, and whatever else you can think of. So this means that you're not just throwing random prompts at an AI and hoping for the best. You're actually training it with the exact materials that you want it to understand and to reference. And that is just scratching the surface of what is possible here. Because now I'm going to show you live in real time how I personally use Poppy in two very powerful ways. So the first way that I like to use Poppy AI is to have it write emails for me. And the process is surprisingly straightforward once you understand the setup. And we already have the foundation of two groups set up. So now I'm just going to add a third one and then we can start bringing in our assets. So for the first group right at the top here, this is where I drop in proven email examples. All right. So emails that I know have worked well in the past. So I just import a Google Doc where I've pre-saved a few of these examples and then I paste them in. And now the AI has those references ready to pull from. Next, for the second group, I'm just going to add three of my most recent YouTube videos. That way I can just pick one and have Poppy AI convert its core value into an engaging email. And then I just paste the video links and the AI instantly recognizes them as YouTube videos and imports them right here into the workspace. So I'm going to name this group videos for information, just so that I know exactly what it contains. Then for the final group, I'm going to add a PDF guide that I wrote on how I want my emails structured. You can do the same with your own style notes, or you could just click the text button and type out some quick instructions that give it a sense of your brand voice, your brand style, that kind of a thing. Now, here is the key step. You actually do need to connect all of these groups into your AI chat. And you do this by clicking the plus icon and then linking them together just like this. If you skip this step, then the AI isn't going to pull from that information when generating your email. And so it's none of it's going to make any sense. Now, once everything is connected properly, it's time for the prompt. I usually keep mine pretty simple and direct. Just say, take the style and structure from the email example group. Use one video from the videos for information group as the main value point. Follow the rules in the how to write an email guide and write me a persuasive, compelling email using these three sources. Then I just select which AI model that I want to use. For email specifically, I like to use Claude Sonnet just because it tends to write in a more natural conversational tone. And then I just hit generate. And just like that, it's going to create an entire email for me. It automatically pulls in the strong subject line. Often it's going to reuse the YouTube title because it knows that that title is already attention grabbing and proven to work. And it includes a natural greeting. And then it flows right into a compelling hook. The value section is not filled with generic fluff. It's actually going to deliver the core lessons of the video in a concise and engaging way. And it even introduces curiosity loops throughout to keep the readers engaged, which is great. And finally, it closes with a clear call to action, linking back to the YouTube breakdown, you know, or whatever action that I want readers to take. So, I mean, in one click, I've got a professional, persuasive email that matches my personal style, ties directly into my content, and drives people back to my channel or wherever else I want them to go. And that is just one way to use it, because Poppy AI is not limited to just repurposing your existing videos into emails. It can also create brand new YouTube scripts from scratch, even if you don't have any existing content to work from. And I'm going to show you exactly how that works next by having it write a script on how to start a YouTube channel. So just like with the email workflow, you're going to need three groups set up. The first group is the style of the video. This tells the AI what tone, pacing, and delivery style to mimic. 
You can either use your own videos so that it writes in your voice, or you can insert videos from another creator whose style you want to emulate. Right? For fun, I'm just going to pick Ali Abdal as the reference here because I think that his delivery is quite smooth. And the second group is the information for the video. All right, so this is where you add videos that contain the actual knowledge that you want the script to cover. Okay, like it's going to be the meat of your content. And here's a pro tip that makes a huge difference. Sort YouTube by view count before you pick which videos to use. That way, you're feeding the AI information that the audience has already proven that they care about and engage with. Okay, so the third group is script writing guidance. This could be videos you found on how to write better YouTube scripts. It could be a Google Doc with your own notes on structure, or just a text file with bullet points about how you want the video to flow from hook all the way to the outro. So let's go ahead and set this up properly. I'll add some Ali Abdal videos into the style group so that it can analyze his delivery. Then I'll grab a few high-performing videos about how to start a YouTube channel for the information group. And finally, I'm going to paste in some resources on how to write strong YouTube scripts into the last group. Now, technically, there's no hard limit to how many videos you can add to each group. Right? You can add 10, you can add 20, you can add however many you want, but just keep in mind that the more content that you give it, the more credit it uses, and also sometimes it tries to cram too much information into it if you have too much information that you've given it, which then just dilutes the output. So three to five videos per group is usually the sweet spot for good quality. Now, once the groups are ready and connected, we just move on to the prompt. And again, I just like to keep it really simple, really clear. Just say something like, write a YouTube script in the style of the video in the style group. Use the content from the information group as the main source material. Follow the structured outline in the script writing group and then give me the full script. So for this example, I'm going to run it through Claude, though you can experiment with different AI models to see which one matches your preferences and delivers the best result. And here's what it generated for us. A full YouTube script complete with title, hook, intro, context section, main content body. Now, does this hook sound exactly like Ali Abdal word for word? Probably not perfectly, but I mean, it's pretty close. And it mimics his approachable style, his energy, his educated approach really well. The intro also flows naturally into the main content. And the body includes strong strategies and useful points rather than just a bunch of AI fluff. And then it even wraps up with a call to action that makes sense for keeping the viewers engaged and driving them towards the next step. And one more thing I really appreciate is that at the end, it provides a word count, estimated runtime, and even a breakdown of the style elements that it incorporated. I just like this feature because, you know, if you've ever tried writing scripts with other AI tools, you know that they usually cap out way too short. They might give you three or four minutes of content. But here, I mean, I actually get a full length video script that I can use immediately. I mean, that's not only enough to get your video monetized with mid-roll ads if you're focused on that, but it's also long enough to deliver genuine, meaningful value to your audience instead of just like rushing through the topic, which AI usually does. So now that you've seen what Poppy AI can actually do, the email workflows, the YouTube scripts, the totally innovative layout of the actual workspace. To answer the big question that everyone's been asking, is Poppy actually better than ChatGPT? In my honest opinion, yes, 100%. Because whenever I use ChatGPT, I always have to manually copy and paste or transcribe everything, my YouTube transcripts, my notes, my audio messages, everything that I've been trying to put inside of it. It's just slow, it's messy, it's unorganized, and I usually lose track of what I've already done or I have to redo it again in a new chat. On top of that, you're locked into just one model at a time. And sometimes that model just is not the right fit for the specific project that I'm working on, which means that I either have to buy another subscription or I'm just stuck with suboptimal results with what I'm trying to do. But with Poppy AI, everything is visual and structured in groups. I can mix in different AI models depending on the task. I can organize my content in a way that actually makes sense. And I can build actual repeatable workflows instead of just firing off random prompts and hoping for the best. And for me personally, that's been a complete game changer across my entire business. Now, to be completely honest with you, Poppy AI is not cheap. 
is $3.99 a year, which at first glance is going to look pretty damn expensive. I hesitated myself when I considered buying it, but then when I actually looked at it and broke it down, it only comes out to about $33 a month. And that's actually less than what you'd pay if you were juggling two separate AI subscriptions like ChatGPT Plus and Claude Pro, which would run you about $40 to $50 a month combined. So with Poppy, you're getting both AI models plus a bunch more in one tool, plus everything else that I just went over that it offers. The visual workspace, the groups, the multimodal switching, all of it. That's exactly why I chose Poppy and why I continue to use it every single day. Because I like it so much and I genuinely believe that it can help you, I've set up a special link for you in the description where you can get an exclusive $25 discount today. So if you want to try it for yourself, whether that's for content creation, building workflows, managing business projects, or just to save yourself hours every single week, then just go hit that link below, grab your discount, and start using Poppy AI today. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.